Hi, I'm Ted from Everything Attachments, and we're here today to show you what a third function auxiliary hydraulic is for your tractor. With so many attachments now coming with a hydraulic function on them, like a grapple bucket, uh, so many different features that can go on the front of these, whether it be a hydraulic auger, grapple bucket, scrap grapple, root grapples, everything that has a cylinder on it is going to require two hydraulic connections. And there is such a thing as a diverter valve. I'm not a big fan of that. So what I like is a true third function. Uh, we used to weld a bracket on the front here and make the lines rigid. I've, and you can still do that. I've kind of gotten used to where I like my lines to be flexible, but where the uh, lines from your attachment can come in from the side instead of pinching up your hoses here short. These are standard, what I call a round style ball coupler. Uh, this would what is what would normally be on a skid steer would be a flat face coupler. So these are adapters I've made so I can use it for anything. So you can see the different kind of adapters that are available. So what this is, this is going to power the cylinders on your attachment that's on the front. And the best way to do it, these are, this is going to be what does the work and I'm going to explain that in a minute. And I want you to think about why you want to do it this way instead of a different way. If you're using, say, a root grapple, what you would like to do is to be able to crimp your root grapple and lower it or change the angle of it at the same time. And you can only do that with a third function auxiliary. So when you look at your loader valve, you're gonna notice it has seven lines going to it. Four of the lines are gonna go to your loader and that's gonna be for your main lift and the angle of your bucket. Then the other three lines coming from your tractor are going to be pressure. The pressure will come directly from your pump. You don't want to enter with that line because there is no relief valve. The return line is only used if you bottom out a cylinder on your loader and you've heard your motor bog just a little bit, make a squealing noise, that means the relief valve is, is kicking off and it is returning the fluid to the tractor because the hydraulic function has too much pressure and cannot work. So that's not the line you're gonna use. There's a line called Power Beyond, and it's normally a steel line. It's the line that after the fluid is used in your hydraulic valve, Power Beyond sends the power to the rear of your tractor to be used for your three-point hitch hydraulics. So you're gonna remove your, your Power Beyond steel line, connect it the, at the uh, side of your tractor, then you're gonna go through your hydraulic manifold block which on this particular tractor, I made a little plate, mounted it down here. We can send out complete kits made for your tractor or you can buy the components and do it. So this is the larger style valve and what determines which valve you need determines on how many gallons per minute of flow your tractor has. If you're under 15 gallons per minute, you're gonna use the small valve. If you're over 15 gallons per minute, you're gonna use the large valve. I use the large valve on this one just because I had it and I could. So the best way to do it is once you pick a spot on your, I like to pick a spot on my tractor that when I remove the loader, the valve stays on the tractor. Because if I want to, I can still use this third function valve to power something on the rear of my tractor. So I like to leave the valve on the tractor. And then since you're going to be able to remove the loader, I put a set of couplers right here at the valve that I can uncouple, that way I don't have to remove the hoses all the way down the loader arms. So you're gonna take, remove your Power Beyond line, you're gonna install your manifold on your tractor, and then you're gonna come into the pressure port, you're gonna come out of the return port, and that's just gonna go right in between that Power Beyond line. And then what controls this is electric current, which we've done on the handle here, and the best thing about this is to do the uh, crimp and be able to roll your bucket and lower at the same time, you do it from your loader lever. You could plug your implement into a rear remote, which is on the back of the tractor. But the disadvantage of that is you're gonna have to remove your hand from your loader handle, go to your other lever, and then return back to here and you're not gonna be able to do two functions at one time like you can with these, hydro with these electric buttons. So this is the best way of doing it. If you're fairly mechanically uh, inclined, you should be able to do this with no problem with a complete kit. You might want to see your dealer about doing it, 
but it's something that you're really going to need to do most of the modern day uh, attachments. So there's not but really three components, your valve, your handle that controls your valve, your hoses and couplers on the end. So it's really simple. You just replace your handle, mount your valve, do your plumbing, and you're good to go.